What is going on, YouTube people? New York Cards and Comics here today for a comic book haul video and a Heroes Con recap. Uh, I spent, I think it's about probably close to 3K in CGC slabs at Heroes Con. Uh, I'll give some just quick thoughts about the show and then we'll kind of go through what I picked up. Checked a lot of things off the list for the whole reasons on why I went for what I was looking for. Uh, show overall, really good. I didn't think it was quite as busy last year, especially on Saturday. Uh, Friday seemed about the same from what I can remember. Saturday was busy, but didn't seem as busy as it was in the previous year. Uh, you could get around. It was a little tight in some places in certain sections, but last year's Saturday show felt way busier. Dealer pricing. Now, I don't attend Comic-Cons as often as I do card shows. Generally speaking, it felt like most of the dealers that I talked to and all the ones that I bought from were either had fair pricing or were close to fair pricing, but they were willing to get to fair pricing. So what do I mean by that? Let's uh, say a book goes for around... $900 pretty regularly on eBay and they had it priced at a thousand. If I offered 850, we would probably meet in the middle at nine or, and that's not quite in the middle. It's favoring me a little bit. So if you were willing to pay pretty close to sold listing prices on eBay or, you know, whatever purchasing platform of choice, you could probably get a deal done with at least a decent amount of dealers. Now you you might say, hey, you know, uh, eBay charges fees, this, that, and the other thing. Yes, but comic book shipping is expensive. So you're usually paying 15 to 25 bucks to get a book shipped off of eBay. Plus, depending on what your situation is with sales tax and whatnot. And these are things that I wanted for my collection. I don't need, you know, to, to steal the sports card quote, like I don't need room on something, I don't care if I get it for 5% less because I'm gonna to try to flip it for next week. This is going on the wall behind me or in my case upstairs to be rotated on the wall behind me, whatever the case might be. So from my buying perspective is different going in to something like that. There were definitely some dealers though where, hey, what do you add on this? Oh, I'm at 1500 and they typically sell for 900 to $1,000. Oh, you got room on that price? No, I'm firm. Or I could do $100 off. There was for sure some of that. But generally speaking, most people were pretty good to work with. Uh, I had pretty good interactions overall with all the different vendors and stuff uh, that I dealt with. Met some cool people. Uh, you know, Dustin was obviously there. I hung out with him on Saturday morning. Hung out with Fosto uh, from CGC on Friday. Met some viewers of the channel both days, so that was really cool as well. Uh, interacting with them for a few minutes on the show floor. If you're in the area, once again, this was in Charlotte, North Carolina. If you're in the area, I would 100% recommend making the day trip in for it. Or, you know, I, we go for a couple days, the wife and I. So let's go ahead and get into the haul itself. Uh, I'm going to take these in batches because they were kind of purchased in batches. All right, first deal up, this was with uh, Dale Roberts Comics, I believe, who I've bought stuff from in the past. This is a lot that I put together from their table. I actually went to him first because I had a feeling anyone that would have a lot of this stuff would be him. A big reason of this trip was an X-Men 101 and the knockout as much, if not all of, the Dark Phoenix run that I was still missing. Uh, we'll get to what missions I accomplished at the show. So this first lot was all from one dealer. We have the 131 in a 9.6. This is the second full appearance of Emma Frost. You can see the sticker prices on these. We'll talk about that in a second. Here is 134 in a 9.6. This is where Phoenix becomes Dark Phoenix. And then we have 137 in a 9.6. And this is the death of Phoenix. So the three of these stickered for 900 bucks. I got this lot for, I believe, 825. It might have been 835. I think it was 825, but somewhere right along in there. Now, 
This one was pretty much dead on. That sticker price is basically right where it goes at 450. These two were, I think one of them was dead on and one of them was slightly high. So by getting a little bit of money off by packaging the three together, I felt very good about the total number. I think I offered 750 and we basically split down the middle uh, off the $900 sticker on these three. And this was, I think this was the first deal that I did right off the start of the show to knock off a bunch of these in a CGC 9.6 from the Dark Phoenix run. I would have been fine getting this one in a 9.4, but this book just sells for a lot for not being a key first appearance. It is, it's like I said, second appearance, and it is a really cool cover. So I was happy to knock this off at 9.6 because I did get that one for a pretty fair price. So that was lot number one, and once again, checking off from the list, a large chunk of the Dark Phoenix run. Next up, uh, something a little unexpected. Uh, I got this from the guys over at Shortbox. So shout out to the Shortbox app and the team over there. Uh, had a really nice chat with those guys. They have a nice app for buying, selling. I think they do price tracking now and stuff like that. I have, I've had it on my phone for a while. Uh, I've done some business with them in the past. Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, but they had an X-Men number 12 first appearance of the Juggernaut. This is one that I had on the back of my mind of if I get a lot of other stuff knocked out, I wouldn't mind potentially making a run at an X-Men 5 uh, if I could find the right grade and the right price. This is one where pricing was all over the place on these. Uh, I had trouble tracking one down at a price that people were willing to work with that was fair and reasonable. There was a 7.0 that I thought about making a run at. It would have cost me probably double what this one did. And I just didn't feel like paying that kind of premium for a two point grade bump. So I was looking for something in the fives to sixes. This was the best five or six I could find in that range on the show floor for a pretty solid price. They were asking 700 for it. Uh, the last most recent sale of a 5.0 was it 680, 650, that range? And I got this for six cash. Uh, so you see the $700 price tag, but I got this for six. Very decent presenting copy. Actually, pretty good presenting copy. Uh, it does have, you know, the corner ding up there. And then it's got some spine stuff uh, along the side for sure. But, you know, this displayed on a stand behind me, you're never really going to notice that stuff. The key with this is what does the red look like? And the red really pops on this one. It looks really, really good from that perspective. So 5.0 off white pages. And like I said, pick this up for 600 bucks. Classic X-Men title. Uh, this one and the first appearance of the Sentinels, which I already have, uh, X-Men 14, were ones that I wanted to grab from that early run of key first appearances. Uh, and I've had the, the, the first appearance of Sentinels for a while. So really happy to add this one in a great presenting copy for a 5.0. Once again, that red really pops on that one. So that was from the short box guys. Shout out to the short box team. Next one, stumbled across this one. Uh, I almost just bought one of these on eBay after Across the Spider-Verse. I had one on my watch list forever. I was gonna FOMO into it and someone bought it. It sold. Uh, it is a Spider-Gwen number one this is the four color grails variant, uh, a very pricey, one of the more expensive variants from uh, spider Gwen number one. This one stickers for 350. That's what it typically goes for uh, pretty much all day long. Uh, I got this one for 300 cash. Uh, absolutely fantastic cover. Uh, really, really like the cover on this one. Great image, great artwork. Uh, really like the color work on it. So happy to pick this one up. I am not a big variant guy. Uh, when it comes to Gwen, I fall victim, but I don't really treat variants as investments. I just buy them because I like them for display purposes or like the cover because I character collect Spider Gwen. So was really happy to run into this. The CGC census on this in a 9.8 is actually fairly low. So I did not expect to see one at the show and was very, very happy when I ran across one. The next one, also a single purchase. The main reason that I went, uh, this was the one that I really wanted to find at the show. 
And once again, this was one where pricing was a little all over the place. I did find some dealers that were priced reasonably enough. This one was trickier to find someone priced at the price that I wanted to get to in the grade range that I wanted to get to. A lot of people were overpriced on this book. That is the X-Men 101. This is in a 9.2. I was looking between a 9.0 and a 9.4. Nine eights are still really expensive in this. Nine sixes still also have quite a bit of premium on it. So I'd have been perfectly happy with a 9.0 to 9.2. I just wanted something that had decent centering, which this one does. You don't see much of the white strip on the left. That is a common problem on this book. I want one that had good color, obviously. Uh, white pages was not necessarily a non-negotiable. Everything else was good on it. Um, but really, really wanted to knock this one out. Iconic X-Men cover. Iconic first appearance. Mega X-Men key. Uh, really, really happy to add this one. As soon as I'm done with this video, this is going to be going up on display next to the Phoenix statue that I recently picked up behind me. Once again, really excited to knock that one out. Big reason why I went there. And I got this one, I should mention. I got this for 900 I think from Bedrock City Comics, if my memory is correct, going off the top of my head. I'm bad about taking notes where I buy stuff from. They had it stickered for, I believe, 1000 Yeah, 1000 and it is. Bedrock City. They had it stickered for 1000 I offered 850 and we met at 9 And once again, 900 is basically where this goes pretty much all day long, give or take, you know, maybe 50 bucks one side or the other, depending on the individual copy. So really glad to knock that one out. That was last year. It was X-Men number four, the first appearance of Scarlet Witch and the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants was like the main thing that I was going for this year. This was it. So once again, mission accomplished. And then last but not least, then I have a bonus thing. Uh, this was also another lot that I picked up. I had seen this when I was walking around at a booth, it is, uh, and this was from Atlanta Vintage Toys. These guys had great prices on stuff. This is X-Men 14. This was not something that I was looking for. Uh, it was just, I ran into it. It was at the correct price. And I was like, huh, all right, I'll snag one of these. Uh, for those that don't know, this is the first cameo appearance of Gambit. Like I said, they had this stickered for 250. That is dead on what it sells for, if not a little under. Uh, so that was a fantastic price on this, I think. I have the 266 already. This wasn't something that I was hunting for, but once again, found a really good deal on it. So I pulled this out and he's like, hey, you know, if you're paying cash or you're working a, a bulk deal, I could definitely have a little bit of room on stuff, you know, let me know. So I pulled that out. Then one that I had really never even considered, always loved, this was just strictly a cover play, uh, always loved this book, thought it was a really cool cover, never really hunted for one, and that is Venom Lethal Protector, number one, the red foil cover, absolutely gorgeous Bagley artwork on the cover, and he had this at 120, with which once again is right at, or if not, a little below market price for this these days. This has come way down, so this has come way down as well. So snagged this, and then I was digging through the bin and came across something else, and I was like, what the hell, that's pretty cool. I'll throw this in the bundle. It is a Wizard magazine, uh, like a commemorative X-Men Turn 30 edition. I remember when this came out. I remember buying this off the shelf uh, as a kid from Wizard Publications. It was just like an anniversary issue for the X-Men. It's in a 9.4, and this is the San Diego Comic-Con edition. So it's the convention edition. Uh, so it has a certificate of authenticity. It's serial numbered. I'm not super concerned about that. I just thought it was a really cool piece as a huge X-Men fan. The Andy Kubert cover art. I mean, I didn't even really care about the grade that much. Cool, it's a 9.4, whatever. I, no comps on something like this, CGC graded. I don't know what the what the census count is, but it has to be pretty low. But they had it at 70 bucks, and I was like, whatever. For that, I'll, I'll get it just to display it. That's 100% worth it. So these all together came to, let's see, this was 250 This was 120 so that's 270 And then this on top was 340 I think I got this whole deal for, I'm sorry, 440 I got, I think, all three of these for 400 bucks out the door 
Uh, so I got a little, like a 10% off discount by packaging them together. And like I said, these two, in my opinion, the X-Men Annual 14 and the Venom Lethal Protector were already very competitively priced. So, I, you know, I almost feel like I got this kind of for free or close to free by picking up these two is kind of how I'm viewing it. And I was perfectly happy with that deal. So always keep that in mind. You know, you see something that you like, that you really want, try to find other stuff. You don't force something just to buy to buy. But if there's something else that you had your eye on and it's it's a good deal, package it in and maybe you could get an even better deal on it. And then last but not least, this is just a little bonus one. Uh, I picked this up. It came in the mail on eBay while I was gone. And I got to actually un unbag it here because it's got uh, a card in the way. So you can't see the cover all the way. This is once again, don't chase variant covers uh, unless you know what you're getting yourself into. Another Gwen variant cover. One I had my eyes on for a while. They do not come up very often because they are a little limited. This thing is fighting me right now. All right, there we go. This is Spider Gwen Shadow Clones number one. This is from this is very recent, May of 2023. Uh, this is the comic mint edition. Uh, Ink Lee cover. Probably pronouncing his name wrong, but fantastic artwork. Does great stuff. And just a gorgeous Gwen variant cover. I believe these were limited to 800, if my memory is correct. Actually, it'll tell me because it has a certificate. Uh, one of 800 available. And to get that in a CGC 9.8. I think there's only 100 of these on the CGC census in a 9.8. I could be wrong on that. Uh, but one of one of these for a while. One popped up at a pretty decent price. I think I paid like 100 bucks for this. And that's like the range I like to stay in typically for variant covers. It's for around 100 bucks, and I can just snag it, and it looks cool to go into the collection. I am perfectly fine with that. I'm not going to spend crazy tons of money like some of these variants go for, but for around 100 bucks for something limited and just a fantastic piece of artwork, I'm in all day long. So that was the haul with a little bonus eBay pickup. Like I said, all that stuff all together set me back about 3K. The biggest thing there was the 101 the Dark Phoenix Saga little mini run there, the three books, and the X-Men 12 sucked up a decent portion of that. And then, you know, the other stuff kind of tacked on there for good measure. So very successful show. Extremely happy uh, with my pickups, walking around for a couple days. Uh, like I said, if you're in that area and you have a chance to check it out, 100% would. So that's all I got for you, boys and girls. We will catch you on the next one. Peace.